the former the former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia is now known as North Macedonia. I can't believe I no longer have to say the whole long name. This is the last time I said it. You hear me? It's so much easier. Anyway, it's time to react to the actual song that they just revealed. So, let's talk Eurovision. What's up, you fools? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. As I said, right now it's all about North Macedonia. Still learning. I still have the tendency to say the old name. Anyway, so Tamara Tudeska is returning to the contest. Yes, she previously represented the country, back then still known as the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Okay, I said it again. Uh, back in 2008 with the song Let Me Love You. Of course, she wasn't alone there then. Now she is a solo performer. And... Uh, Back then, they just missed out on qualifications. They finished in 10th place, but back then they had that weird rule where the 10th place was decided by a separate jury. Anyway, water under the bridge. Let's move on. The country, though, has had a bad track record at Eurovision as of late. The question is, can they change it up this time? So Tamara presented the song Proud. The question is, can the country be proud of it? See what I did there? Tell them, raise your voice. And say it loudly, show them what it means to stand up proudly. Tell them. A few little details in case you didn't know the song. Well, uh, the song release was delayed to today, basically. Um, so the song was on released on International Women's Day. Holla to all the ladies watching this. Both of you, you're beautiful, no matter what they say. I'm just trying to be supportive. I'm really bad with the whole I'm with you thing, but I am, I am. As said, North Macedonia is sending Proud, uh, a self-empowering song for women, right? About women saying that nobody can keep them down and all of that stuff. It's not a flashy song either, right? It's not a flashy song. It's quite honest, raw, with no gimmicks, unless you consider, you know, these women theme a gimmick, which I don't think it is. It's a theme, not a gimmick different um so just going for something really honest like that you gotta give them props for that you gotta give them props well as always let's talk about the good first and there's plenty of good to point out here tamara sings it very well her voice perfectly suits the song so this is always such an important thing to me when they just throw a song at a random singer and you miss the connect there this one perfectly melts together i'm really excited about that and um, interesting enough, Netta, as we all know, won the last year, right, with a song about, you know, the Me Too movement that's been going on. And uh, now North Macedonia is going down the same route. Different style, of course. I mean, style-wise, they couldn't be further apart, but they're going for the same kind of theme. And I find it very interesting how you can have two very different songs talk about the same thing and um, it bring different emotions and a different vibe and feel to it very very interesting so this interpretation is very different it is not necessarily sad even though it's a ballad it's empowering and i think the song effectively does that you know since this is a very personal emotional song this needs to be delivered on stage uh it needs to be performed and staged well and this is macedonia north macedonia they always mess it up they always mess it up but if they do it right if they do it right this time with a the team they could go particularly big with the juries but even with the regular voters so uh, don't don't mess it up now people always say well, your vision is just such a big party that and it is don't get me wrong I party all the time but genuine emotional songs often do really really well at your vision and we need them I'm not counting this one out at all now I'm not claiming that this is a guaranteed qualifier just yet for multiple reasons number one it's North Macedonia they are so get good at messing up the staging. They mess it up all the time, and I'm worried they're going to do it again this year. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Uh, with our luck, though, um, Tamara's going to show up with a clown on the stage playing a tuba. I don't know. <laughs> totally inappropriate. So don't do it. Don't do it. Do it right. Number two. Unfortunately, North Macedonia always seems to have a bad draw. I mean, they're in the second half. At the second semi, though, and there are other really powerful ballads already in the running, uh, like the Netherlands and some others. I'm not saying there can only be one successful ballad. I'm not claiming that, but um, and that they all cancel each other out. No, but it becomes if you're going for the same kind of feel and emotion, that often 
can work against because you can only vote for so many songs and the question is would someone vote for one of the other ballots comes down to who they connect with more number three i don't think that melodically it is as powerful as some of the other songs that i've heard so far but you know that's not everything you know that particular oop moment happens at the end but it takes a little while to get to it and as i point out yes it's a very stripped back song right very quiet not that many instruments until the very last big grand chorus when it really takes off and that's my favorite part of the song for sure so it's a nice progression i wish i would progress it a little quicker a little quicker and i'm real i'm just so torn about this one because i really torn i really like it but it makes me nervous it makes me really nervous when it comes to its odds um i don't think that there is a single person out there first of all not rooting for North Macedonia to qualify as a country, right? We all just feel like it's time. It's been too long. They need to come back to the final. So that's not the concern. And I believe in Tamara and I believe in the team, actually. I know they're going to do it right this time. And yes, you can say, well, they messed it up these last few years, but I think they know. I know that they cannot afford a lackluster average staging with this one. They need to really do it well. Tamara needs to perform the heck out of it vocally, as emotionally as well, and the stage need to tell the story with her. And I'm really curious to see how they're gonna do it, but I believe they can do it. I'm very, very hopeful. And those, you know, who know me, I'm not a big fan of necessarily stupid lyrics. I can deal with silly, funny lyrics, but not stupid, just rhyme for rhymey, rhymey stuff. You know, it drives me crazy. So I really appreciate this one really conveying a message. And it's important to me. If I don't speak the language, then you have to do it with the emotions, the melody and the interpretation. If you sing in English, you better make sure that the words are interesting. And this one is interesting to me. Right now, as of right now, I'm putting this in the really good category. That's already a good place to start in, but this one has so much potential to be potentially in my amazing category. I want it to be in my amazing category. I just have to wait for the staging. This is one more, most, more than most of the other songs where I'm really nervous based on history <laughs> that we know from the country. It's up to you, North Macedonia. Make it happen. Make us proud. See what I did there? Proud. I said proud because the song, name of the song is Proud, so I'm doing a pun. Yeah, I don't have to explain it. Okay, I did it anyway. Anyway, those are my thoughts about North Macedonia. I'm a fan already, and I think I'm going to be a big fan. Just don't mess it up. Don't disappoint me. Uh, what do you think about North Macedonia? Are you hopeful like me? Are you more pessimistic? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Would love to hear from you. Um, on to the next video for me. Have a good day. Boo.